Okay, this is a Taylor Craft L2M, a World War II liaison air, uh, aircraft. It was built in 1943 by the Taylor Craft Aircraft Corporation in Alliance, Ohio. This is the M model. You can tell an M model from the rest of the L2s by the pressure cowl, like a super cowl, as opposed to an open cowl with the jug sticking out, like a J3 cowl. The other thing about the M model, they're the only ones that at one time had spoilers on the wing. And these spoilers have been removed, as most have. You can uh, put them back on at a restoration if you want, if you can find a set. But they were type certificated with spoilers. And they act much like sailplane spoilers in that they flip up from the pilot seat and allow the aircraft to have a very high sink rate and get into a small field. This plane uh, and all the L2s like it, uh, None that anybody knows of ever uh, fought in combat overseas, though some were used for anti-submarine patrol in, uh, off the coast with the Silver Air Patrol. This one was actually loaned to the Silver Air Patrol and uh, after it was built by the United States Army Air Corps at that time, and then was sold to civilian use around 1946 or 47, I believe, and has been in the civilian fleet ever since. It's got an A65 Continental, as most of them did, Prop start, you have to swagger up to the prop and start it by hand. No electrical system. The L2s are the cheapest of the lays on aircraft. The, the L4s are running almost up against $60,000 now. And not too many L3s are available. Still quite a few L2s around uh, since most of them didn't go to combat. They didn't get left in Europe or the um, Pacific Theater. And you can still find them at a reasonable price. They're tube and fabric like all light planes in the 1940s of this class. And uh, sometimes it's not, they're not in too good a shape, so you gotta be very careful when you buy one. This is the observer seat. At one time, this seat spun around and the observer could look backwards. And uh, you take the stick out, store it over there, move these two little widgets here so the rudder pedals would be blocked, and pull a little latch here and the, the seat would spin around. But part of uh, getting it Part of it getting type certificate into the civilian use, this seat had to be made permanently facing forward. And the reason was is because both the pilot and the observer would have to be trained. If the observer turns around, it blocks this stick if you forget to take it out, making it very difficult to fly. So the, uh, the forerunner of the FAA decided that they would require it as an AD, an Air Weather's Directive, that this seat be uh, fastened permanently in the forward position so that that couldn't happen. Another unique thing about the L2 is it's one of the few of the liaison aircrafts that you can actually do the Mile High Club in. You can trust me on that. It's a little bit difficult, but it can be done. And that is the passenger can, there's enough room between the door and the seat to make it up to the front. Besides some courage, it also takes a good bit of skill, so it's not for the faint of heart. There'll be a major weight and balance change as people move around in there from front back to front and do it very slowly, the movements, so that the plane can stabilize. And uh, once the passenger gets up in the front seat, you can just enjoy the ride. After all, the motto of the Mile High Club is, it's not the destination, it's the journey. <laughs> so enjoy the flight. Be very careful. It's not worth dying for. Well, <laughs> it's almost not worth dying for. <laughs> anyway.